April the 24th, April the 25th, we are one year into Avengers Endgame having been released. It is one year anniversary, this is why I'm making this video. This movie grossed over 2.8 billion with a budget of 356 million and with one of the highest in record marketing budget, which is insane. It was directed by Joe and Anthony Russo. Together, they did Infinity War, Endgame, and Civil War. What is also interesting, and what most people don't know, is this movie actually beat the all-time record. I like jokes. Everyone knows that. So, we are going to revisit this and tell you things that you don't know about this movie after over the last year. So, I want to do an anniversary video for this, because Avengers Endgame is quite pinnacle to my channel. It was a big part of my YouTube channel, so I owe it. I really want to revisit this epic movie. So if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos at the 100,000 subscriber mark. I will be giving away something so damn cool that you got to turn the notification on. you got to subscribe because the more time you enter, the more chance you've got to win because it's completely random. So all you got to do is comment, subscribe, comment on every single video, share it, gives you more chances. So let's get into this so if there is any things i did miss let me know so what is pretty awesome is the quantum realm scene in this movie where they're all putting their fist in it's a direct easter egg to tony stark actually having a heart and marvel studios themselves on the 11th of april came out with this fact and it is pretty cool because the people kept asking the russos and the russos kept denying it but eventually marvel caved in so, let's get into this video. So, Drax is wearing his shirt at Tony Stark's funeral. Not really a big one, but he's the invisible man. The man that's always stood behind everyone without you knowing he's there. Although you know he's there. Although he's trying to make out he's invisible. When we, when we know he's not invisible. So, that is pretty cool. And something I didn't actually notice until I did re-watch it over the last year. I've taken a few notes every time I've watched it. Um... This is where the video is coming from. So the I Am Iron Man is the most iconic and the most notable one. What is interesting is Tony Stark himself, our Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. himself didn't even want to say that. That is just a direct correlation to the end of Iron Man where he says, I am Iron Man. And the paparazzi goes absolutely mental. Except this time he snaps and then dies and never seen again in the MCU. Although everyone seems to think he's actually coming back to the MCU, which he could do. He might not do. Thanos is not worthy. Now, I've seen this absolutely everywhere, but no one's given accreditation where it came from. It came from Reddit over six months ago. I've seen it everywhere, all over the internet, all over YouTube, absolutely everywhere. Not really a big point, but it came from Reddit first. Okay, so credit to whoever posted it on Reddit. So Thanos is not worthy. Everyone knows that. He's trying to snap half the universe. Although, is Thanos actually in the real world at the moment? We, we, we don't actually know. So during a fight, it looks like he's holding the original hammer but he's not it's just captain america steve's hand over the top of it and he's grabbing his wrist so it looks like he is that damn strong but obviously thanos is strong enough but he cannot he is not worthy he cannot break the enchantment which is pretty darn cool that it was just steve it wasn't him so the rules for the soul stone i've not seen this one anywhere if you let me know if anyone else has actually come up with this come at me because i don't think anyone else has ever said this so when Thanos tried to abstain the Soul Stone, he did, okay? Because he killed Gamora, his daughter. Well, stepdaughter, technically. But when Odin tried to get the Soul Stone, he didn't because he couldn't sacrifice anyone. And then Black Widow and Hawkeye. Hawkeye gets the Soul Stone, but he did not sacrifice Black Widow. People will go, yes, he did. He let go of her hand, okay? But Thanos killed her. It wasn't a case of, Dad, you can kill me. You can kill me. He killed her. So the rules have changed. The rules of engagement were from Red Skull. In order to earn the stone, one must sacrifice a loved one. Not you must let them kill themselves. They have to sacrifice themselves. Now, this isn't a video going over a plot hole, but this is a huge plot hole. Sorry if I talk fast, guys, but that is a massive plot hole. So freaking big. The Hulk was made to snap his fingers 
because of the gamma radiation. In the first Avengers movie, when Tony Stark made a remark about how exposure to this kind of gamma radiation created the Hulk should have killed Bruce, and Bruce replied, so what you're saying is the Hulk is the other guy who saved my life, saved fifth. What? He saved it so he could snap and bring half of the universe back and the birds and the wildlife and the trees and, and all that kind of stuff. So that is pretty damn cool. The battle on Titan could have been avoided because in Infinity War, Spider-Man and Iron Man rescued Dr. Stephen Strange from Ebony Moor, literally from his moors on down a ship. The question is like, Stephen Strange, could you not simply portal this back to Earth? He could have done because we've seen him do this multiple times at the end of Endgame when Steve Rogers gets to sit. Avengers assemble. He teleports literally hundreds of heroes and hundreds of people through. You're telling me in Infinity War he he couldn't have done this. Well, he, he could have done this, but then we wouldn't have got an end game. So it's narrative set point. For that's that kind of point of, point of view. So it's not really a plot hole because there was a purpose behind it. So Captain America, the ability to wield Stormbreaker. Now this is bigger than what you think because you just have to be strong enough to wield it. So in the Guardians of the Galaxy section of Infinity War, Thor said, to, said this about being able to wield Stormbreaker. You simply lack the strength to wield it. Your bodies would crumble as your minds explode or collapse or something like that. I freestyle my videos. I'm not generic. I don't write scripts. So yeah, something like that, something on the lines of that, which shows he has incredible strength and willpower and that the next Captain America is, is just going to suck compared to him. Uh, at me if you want, but th that is going to happen. Now, on your left, Captain America, the Winter Soldier, you must have seen it. Iconic scene, he's running, he's running on your left, on your left, on your left, on your left. Gets hilarious, but in the final moments of Endgame, Sam finally replies in the scene where the Fallen Avengers are coming through and Samuel gets to say, on your left, Captain, and he's like... He's all like giddy and smiley. Well, we don't actually see him, so so we don't know if he's giddy and smiley, but we are presuming that. So there are rabbits confirmed in Asgard, or at least Thor keeps calling Rocket a rabbit. You know, when he first met him, Thor calls Rocket a rabbit. Uh, yeah, and then again in Endgame, he calls him a rabbit. So is there rabbits? Is rabbits like the, the kind of the savior of Asgard? Rabbits? I, I don't know. Just... Someone down below, let me know. Rabbit, there's got to be something to do with rabbits. He, keep, he keeps uh, he keeps bringing rabbits up. So there is something to do with rabbits somewhere. Bucky knew that Steve wasn't coming back. Steve Rogers and Captain America, the first Avenger, I think it's called that, at least I freestyle this. Don't do anything stupid until I get back. To which he replies, how can I if I've taken your stupid with me? And then the dialogue is something like the same in Endgame, but it's the other way around. Which indicates Bucky was aware that Steve Rogers was never, ever coming back, which is pretty damn cool. So as you know, I run this YouTube channel and I get sent stuff all the time in the DMs. I was sent over to a video from a really damn awesome YouTuber called The Canadian Lad. I will leave the link down below. Make sure to go check his video out. And it's a video about something that you might have missed. And yeah, sure, bro. <laughs> I missed it. So essentially, it's to do with Captain Marvel and the fight of Captain Marvel taking out Thanos. And essentially, she is a cosmic absorption vacuum cleaner, so to speak. This video is really well edited. So props to the Canadian lad. I hope I'm saying your name. Can Canadian lad. Yeah, that's his name. Um, I will leave everything down below. Uh, I don't ruin the video. But essentially, watch the video. It is pretty darn cool. And yeah. Captain Marvel can absorb the Infinity Stones, kind of, because that's kind of where her power is coming from, kind of. Now, it is a very well thought out video, but to sum it up without ruining the video is essentially Captain Marvel is the living version of the Black Panther suit, so to speak. That, that's pretty much what's going on. So yeah, make sure to check the video out down below. It, it's doing pretty cool for him. So yeah, check it down below. I wanted to include it because it's a video about things you missed. And I, I, I was sent this video a few times and it's very well edited. And I didn't notice it. Like it, it's really interesting. And it's brought up a very interesting point that in Captain Marvel 2, if she's not got a cosmic 
be in to fight, then it's going to be very hard for her to have enemies. And it also brings up a point that her and Thor would have a freaking awesome fight because Thor is cosmic with his lightning. And essentially, Thor would destroy Captain Marvel, so to speak. Yeah, it's a pretty cool video. Make sure to check it out. We'll leave it down below. So, guys, let me know. Are you going to be rewatching Endgame? When did you see Endgame? It realistically made the YouTube channel it is what it is today. So I wanted to essentially go over it again. Is there anything you miss? Did you think you were the only person to notice that it appears that Thanos got to wield the original hammer? But he didn't. It was Captain America. That has been absolutely everywhere. I hope you did pick up on some of these things. I just want to say thank you to everyone that has watched my channel over the last year. It's been absolutely insane since we started covering Marvel on this channel over 30 million views on the youtube channel now absolutely insane guys so like always make sure to check out all the links down below for the artists that we're gonna use in the video and the thumbnail we always credit all the artists and all the links down below so make sure to check out everything in the links down below and like i said at the start of the video make sure to subscribe because when we hit 100,000 subscribers we'll be giving away something freaking awesome and the more time you comment on more videos because it's truly random and it's exactly random the more chances you have to win so like always guys please like subscribe and comment i'll catch you in another video very soon catch ya later